The following chemical energetics question is related to uh, the energy profile diagram or the reaction pathway diagram. And uh, a reaction pathway for the following reaction, this reaction over here where W is reacting with X and producing Y and Z, that's given. So these over here are my reactants. And these are my products. Now what the question uh, states is which statement can be made about the reverse reaction. Now he's talking about the reverse reaction. The reverse reaction means that I'm going in the backward direction. So these are my products and I'm going to go back to my reactant. So this is going to be my starting point. I'm talking about the re reverse reaction. So this is my starting point. Or you can say that these are my reactants in the reverse uh, reaction and we need to figure out which statement is going to be the correct statement. So the first statement is that it will have a larger activation energy and a positive enthalpy change. So uh, will it have a larger enthalpy activation energy? So let's, uh, let's talk about the forward reaction first. The forward reaction, the activation energy or the energy needed at the start of the reaction is this energy over here. So this is your activation energy in the forward direction. And the overall enthalpy change for the reaction is that you're starting from your reactants and you're reaching your product. So this is your overall enthalpy change or delta H, which is going to be the difference between the reactants and the products, the energy of the reactants and the energy of the product. So, so this is your activation energy, the initial energy that is needed by the reactant. So this is the forward direction. The green ones, the arrows marked in green, are for the forward reaction. Now we're going to talk about the reverse reaction. The reverse reaction is that you're starting from your products and now you're trying to reach your reactant. So when you start from your products, uh, the activation energy is going to be, this is the amount of energy that needs to be gained before the reaction could proceed. So the activation energy in the forward direction is going to be this one over here. So this is your activation energy for the backward uh, reaction, sorry because you're starting from your products and you have to gain all this energy and then your reactants would be formed. So this is your activation energy for the backward reaction and the overall enthalpy change is going to be you're starting at your uh, products now and you're reaching your reactants. You're going in the reverse direction. So this is the, this is the overall enthalpy change for the reaction. Now let's come back to the first statement. He's saying that it will have a larger activation energy. So the first statement uh, if you look at the backward activation energy, the forward activation energy is smaller. So it, the reverse uh, reaction is going to have a larger activation energy. So this statement, it will have a larger activation energy is correct. And it's also saying that it's going to have a positive enthalpy change. So if you go in the backward direction, the products have lower energy, the reactants have more energy, the arrow is moving upwards, the overall energy difference is positive because it's endothermic. Products are gaining energy and as reactants have more energy, so uh, the products have gained energy. So this enthalpy change is positive, it is endothermic. So this second statement is also going to be correct, which means this option A is, the, is going to be the correct option for this question. The rest of the statements are obviously incorrect, are going to be incorrect. Uh, for example, in statement B, he's saying that it's going to have a negative enthalpy change, which is wrong because it's uh, in the reverse reaction. Uh, the products are gaining energy, so this is endothermic. Uh, similarly, uh, the, second, the third statement, C, it will have a smaller activation energy is incorrect because it has a greater activation energy. And in the last statement, both statements are actually incorrect. Smaller activation energy and negative delta H, they're both incorrect. So option A is obviously going to be the correct option for this question.